What up, peoples? This whole Kate Smith controversy thing, racism thing, is clear evidence that proves once again that America, that racism in America is not a major problem. Quite honestly, racism in America in 2019 is not an issue for black people, for Latino people. If you do believe it's an issue, that's because you're a victim, you have a victim mindset, and you have a weak mind. If you don't know about Kate Smith, Kate Smith was a, a singer, and she sung songs, and one of the songs that she sung in the 1930s, uh, I believe it was a rendition of the National Anthem back in 1930, she also sung God Bless America. Now, the New York Yankees used her song um, when playing baseball, of course, and the Philadelphia Flyers used renditions of her song. And there's actually a statue of Kate Smith in front of the arena over in Philadelphia where the Flyers play hockey. Well, they went ahead. You see, this is how you know that racism is not a problem, not a major problem in America anymore in the fact you got to dig up people who did something over 80 years ago and find the racism in that. That's how you know it's not a problem. We're not talking about a song that somebody sung 10 years ago. We're not talking about a song somebody sung 25 years ago. We're going back almost a century to find racism, to find blatant racism. I'm not saying, I know people going to watch this video, gee, you're saying there's no racism in America. I'm not saying that. Only a fool would say something like that. There's always going to be racist people. There's always a, the select, the untalented 10th of Americans who are just fools and wicked and judge people based on their race and not by the content of the character. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about major racism impeding the lives of black and brown people today in America. It's not an issue. It's just not. Unless you're a victim. Unless you got the victim mindset. So they got the statue of Kate Smith out in front of the arena. They haven't pulled out the statue. They haven't pulled it out of the ground yet. So instead they put a bunch of like black tarps and blankets over the statue. Now the statue looks like an Antifa member in front of the arena. Is it looking even more goofy and awkward? All because of some songs that this lady sung in the 1930s where she sung songs that were like legitimately racist. Talking about the, the black features and about slavery and stuff like that. Like it was wrong. There's no, there's no condoning it. But if we're gonna sit here now and we're gonna be digging up things from 89 years ago, 85 years ago, whatnot, about racism and racist songs and racist, racist things people are, or have said. You know, we're gonna take down John Wayne and the John Wayne Airport over here in Orange County, close by where I live. If that's, if that's what we're doing now and looking for racism in that kind of way, racism ain't a problem no more. Well, racism is not a major problem anymore. And the more, the more hypocrisy, the hypocrisy that I see about the, the Democrat, the leftist, the leftist, because I know it was leftists who, who brought up the whole, this whole case Smith controversy in the first place. Because conservatives were like, it's not a problem. Like, we just don't, we don't care. Like, it's not affecting my life. A statue has not, you know, thought, made me think less of my value having brown skin like it doesn't do that so i know it's them that, that brought it up and these are the same people in that philadelphia flyers arena okay they don't want kate smith in there no more but they're gonna i'm sure even though it's hockey and even though hockey the fans are predominantly white there are gonna be times where i've been to hockey i've been to hockey games before they play music from rappers misogynistic sexist violent Okay, crime promoting rappers, they'll play songs from them. Okay, so what's the problem? So Kate Smith is a no go. All right, but you're totally fine playing songs by Jay Z, Ludacris, Snoop, Drake, you name it. You're fine playing those songs. There, that's not a problem. But Kate Smith sings a song from almost a hundred years ago, and she's got to go. I'm like, fine. If, if she's got to go, everybody got to go. So stop playing the rappers. Don't play Kate Smith. Don't play any pop R&B music that in ways is, you know, choice in its language, stuff like that. Get rid of that too. Get rid of everything. 
See, this is why it's like, you know what, the white man or woman, that's the, that's the easy tear down. Well, we'll just take them down if they do something controversial. But we can't, we can't deal with black people who have done clearly things that if a white man said, if a white country music star said the things that Lil Wayne or Drake has said in music, it would be a, a, appalling and offensive. But since it's Drake and them, and they're black, they have privilege. They can rap, and they can sing these songs, and it's okay. It's complete hypocrisy, and I just don't have time for it. If we're gonna take down Kate Smith, all right, and I'm like, fine. It's a, it's a whoever the owner of the land where the arena is at, and the New York Yankees, they can choose to play whatever music they want. I don't care. I really don't. But my thing is. What about all the statues in West Virginia with Robert Byrd? Robert Byrd, a Ku Klux Klan recruiter. A, what is it, Exalted Cyclops? I think that's what his title was. Those statues ain't coming down. Been up there for decades. Buildings named after Robert Byrd. Oh, well, Robert Byrd, he changed his mind. You know, he disavowed the Ku Klux Klan. Tell me, if, if there was a GOP member who had affiliate, not just affiliations, but was a member of the Ku Klux Klan, you think they're gonna keep his statue, even if he, supposedly gave that up come on man so you ain't got no problem with robert bird you got a bust of margaret sanger in the smithsonian museum she promoted eugenics called people like black people human weeds talked about the best way to basically to um to fool over the black people is go through the ministers you got a bust of her is her bus going down no nah, smithsonian is keeping that so I'm like, all this stuff is phony, man. It's a bunch of hogwash. Completely hypocritical. Totally fine with the corrupt music from, you know, black culture, rap, hip hop. Totally fine playing that at the arena. Kate Smith got to go though. How is that not racist? Black people are untouchable. White people who say something wrong, she got to go. That's racist too. So in their assault against racism, they're also being racist. And this is why I'm like, look, don't get rid of nothing. Don't get rid of anything. Leave it all up. Robert E. Lee statue, you don't like that? Leave it up. George Washington statue, Thomas Jefferson, the Jefferson Memorial, leave it up. We're not touching anything. If you find it offensive, learn from it. If you find, if you think it's something that will hurt other people, reach those other people, preempt those other people, and teach them the truth then. But don't take it down. It's history. You can't get rid of history. You could try, and even when you try, it just makes it even larger. So now, nobody was talking about K. Smith. Didn't nobody give a rip about K. Smith. I never even knew about a, a lady named K. Smith until y'all brought up K. Smith. Now everybody's talking about it. Now everybody's talking about the racism, all this different stuff. Now all the victims and the people getting trained up to think like victims, they're coming out. You should've just left the heck alone. But no, we gotta get on this hypocritical stand and talk about Kate Smith. But at least you're gonna have some brown skin people like myself who are rational, reasonable, and not victims and say, just stop. Stop with the nonsense. You know, black people are not children. I don't know how many times I gotta say this in my videos. Black people are not children to whom the truth cannot be told. Black people are grown. They can learn history. They can know their value, their God-given value, that what a person says about their value, their skin, you know, the shape of their body features, what if their supposed intelligence, they can know their true value. They're not children. Well, we're gonna remove the statue because, oh, you know, the poor black people, oh, y'all ain't got no problem with the statues that make white people look offensive. A lot of these white liberals ain't got a problem with that. Y'all leave that stuff up. But if a, some white person says something that's offensive to black people, we gotta take it down. Cause they just can't handle it. And that's why you see a lot of low key white liberals and these Democrats who flirt with, you know, the soft bigotry, bigotry of low expectations. They admit themselves that black people are emotional and the way to reach black people and Latino people is through emotional efforts, not factual efforts, not uh, efforts using reason and logic. No, go through emotion because that's how they operate. That's what they assume. I know I'm ranting, but I know I'm preaching the truth. I don't give a rip what nobody says. So 
That's my take on the whole K. Smith thing. Leave the statue up. Don't take it down. Leave it up there. Take off the Antifa sweatsuit and the bandana that she's wearing and just let her stay there. Teach the people. Yeah, she says some bad things. She says some horrible things. You know, it was different back in the 1930s. You know, there was a large swath of people who felt a certain way about black people or people in general that just didn't look like them. That's the way America was. But it's 2019. You know racism, once again, is not a major problem that when something like Kate Smith comes out, it's an overwhelming response from people all over the news media, newspapers, print, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everybody's coming out against it. Who's, who's in favor of Kate Smith for racist reasons? Where is, the, where is the majority of these people? Saying, no, we need to keep her up because she was speaking the truth about them black people. Where are they at? Where? They're nowhere to be found. They're hidden under a rock somewhere because American society doesn't accept them. So we make it seem like these statues are going to bring about all these white racists all over the place. It's nonsense. Just nonsense. So I'm like, nah, we're leaving everything up in here. You find something offensive? Do your studying. Learn and know who you are in the light of Christ. Know your value. You're not a victim. Period. I'm done. I'm out. Have a good one. I'm about to get my lift on.